Hello and welcome back to Nintendo Pocket Football Club and right now we'll be playing the last game of Pro League 2 where we'll be facing AFC Tribesmen. We're currently 7th and we're 5th and looking at the table the last match we had against Halley's Rangers you can see here is a win that does, that does kind of force them into a situation where they have to win their next game against the 11 to allow them to promote. So if the, if the eleven do manage to get through, they have they have to thank us about it. But then again, we are stuck with Halley's Rangers in this season, which I'm not exactly happy with. Looking at their stats, but oh well, we'll see how that goes whilst we play our game. We'll have our goalkeeper injured, so put Van Zan back on. Oops, one click. Let's put Kern on into the Irvine. Okay. Uh, Niemannen. Good enough. Put Payne on. Okay, let's go full on attack. Right, let's see how this plays out then. 31%? Huh. Let's, oh, we have a low chance to draw as well. Great. Low chance than, than drawing, I mean. Farfalla, move to Newbauer. Machado. The Trump. Can't see it. Playing it very slowly. I, I did. I did set them into attack, right? I swear I did. Should we roll with a shot? It's wide. Ruta, Ataglia, Pass and to Deluta, takes a shot, get in, <laughs> hits the sign, Trump, again, pass to the wing, now he passes back to Garcia, oh, finally pass to the wing to Martin, centering ball, never mind, that's to the wing, to Neubauer, Trump, Romano, Montero steals it, over to Nibau, goes for a shot, it's too low and too slow. Right enough. Carrera, managed to win it back, goes for a shot, was high and nowhere near the goal. Montero, no, correctly won back, if I can. Go follow, long ball over to Nibau, can he capitalise on it properly? For some reason, Giro is right behind the goal. He managed to get nudged all the way back over there. Jeez. Giro. Passing to center to Garofalo. Awful pass. Barbier. Yeah. Shot. Nicely saved. Ooh. Oh, they're going to get first, actually, if they win. Tries to get under the wall. Oh, wall decided not to jump. Not sure whether I should be happy about that. Oh, right in the face. Jeez. Bit of charger. No, Garcia didn't take a correct touch, but Van Zyde does manage to stop it. That was too close. Pires to get rid of charger. Roth brings it back.
Again, the shots are high and not getting the target. Machado. Garcia. Oh. Tackles Peters. Another shot. That one was on target, but Van Zand is able to jump. So, not giving in. Roth, passing over to Trump. I him back. I thought we were actually offensively playing. Is it balanced? No, I swear it's constantly attacking, yeah? Go Farlow to Montero. Good pass to the new bower. Takes a shot, but he's outside, and I'm pretty sure that he was off target as well. That was not going in, I don't think. Well, it could have been, actually. Oh. Not that it matters. It's the end of the first half, and it's nil-nil. But the other games look a bit spicy. If the 11 do win, and Northern Knights get a draw, that means they'd be getting top spot. Oh, now they're drawing, and now Northern Knights are winning. It's going to stay as it is. If Halley's Rangers do get a win, though, no matter what the score, they're going to get second. Because although they're going to be on the same points, their goal difference is a vastly higher. In terms of football amounts. Four more goals, if I, if I noticed, on the uh, thing. Guerrero. Cardona. To Deruta. Cardona again. The route to, oh, it's wide shot. He could have passed over to Guruchaga there. But they didn't. Oh, they won a free kick, and that's a yellow card possibly for Garofalo. Yep. Oh, going back and forth. But again, if Northern Lights hold out, then they will still take top spot. Trump tackled, wins a free kick, passing over to Kern, Garcia now, Montero, Newbauer, Montero again, Garofalo with a shot and he's deflected, okay, Martin is up taking the corner, goes to the side to Roth, back to Martin with a direct shot, and it was on target apparently, out for a throw in, no one in a dangerous area in the box. Not looking good. Oh, unless he can... Oh, he doesn't. To add the keeper again. Kern. Rodanov. A good save. New bar. I didn't even check the stat... Um, the, what's it called? The tactics, did I? Yes, please get rid of him. Put a good enough on. Oh, okay. The goodness to shoot the keeper yet again. Trump, Montero. Here in just position, Kern can go for a shot. No, he doesn't. They stop passing around. Although this could be good passes, never mind. He plays it out by Carlini. Yeah, they were. They were. They were. Yeah, I can see that now, but they weren't doing that in the first half. Montero. Oh, that keeps going to catch that, right? He does not. Ardona. Gutierrez. Good save for Van Zand. Not that it was hard. Irvine. Alexiv loses the ball. Martin. Passing over to Irvine. It was an awful touch, but he does manage to pick it up, though. Martin. This could be an open chance to shoot. Godunov! Garfalo! Double header into a goal. Let's see how the other teams are doing. The 11. They hold out. They're going to secure a second place spot. Northern Lights. 
Top spot with 55 points, one point difference between second and first. Right in the face, good enough. Oh, three pass on Ontario, but he is offside. I thought Bataglia was playing him on there. Nope, very much offside. Come on, steal it. No, he doesn't. Cardona, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Thank you. Alexiv. Carlini loses it to Montero. Godunov keeps in possession for it to end 1-0 for us. But we don't know how the other ones are going to last. They could have scored our very last second goal. They did not. Okay, so it looks like we have Northern Lights top spot. The 11, second. I'm playing Mantis. I'm going to get relegated. With a one point difference between Tribesmen. Which, for me, looks good because my record against them was good at the first point. point. But, uh, of course, in the second half of the season, we drew and then got smashed 4-0. And we haven't lost to a uh, Tribesman yet. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. Alright, let's see the let's see who's gonna promote to us. Shock squad, okay. But 48 points compared to 40. Arctic Storm with second to last with 19 points. So last season, they came third. Two seasons before that, third as well. And also they wavered and just dropped down to fifth. It's good. Northern Lights I'm pretty sure, yep, they were they were in Pro League One last season or last year. The eleven. I think it's Halley's Rangers that's normally from Thingy, right? Well, they were two seasons ago. The 11, they don't often do that. And it looks like they have a high chance of just not promoting at all, considering the fact that they have come third the last few seasons. Um, No, that looks like it. Uh, so this team clearly were relegated last season automatically because they were 12th. This, no, no, sorry, this team, they were relegated by the playoff match, because they were placed 11th. Okay. So we have a team that was originally in the Pro League 1, that's still staying, and one team that could go up, meaning <laughs> there's going to be a team from here to go down. Paradox are quite annoying, because as you can see here, they have five defenders, so they do kind of park the bus a bit. And they have been 11th for two seasons in a row. And apparently they fought off whoever was second in Pro League 2. Which is why they're currently in Pro League 1. If that makes sense. Promethean, they're gonna they're definitely gonna go down because they're 12th. So they automatically relegate. And they have a few hefty players here. Masters, for example. Nosov. Uh Britain. Oh, it's actually ridiculous. Good. Three S's on jumping, um, toughness, and willpower. Oh, they have Mullen and the Koning. Oh, that's going to be hard. That's going to be really hard. Oh, well. Alright, we'll stop it there. I'll see you next time, where we'll start off our second season in Pro League 2. Hopefully with a slightly more established team who know how to play with each other a lot better. See you there.